how do you get your teenage son to stop vaping nicotine? Well, that's our question today on Tips on Teens. My name is Kent Toussaint. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I specialize in helping kids, teens, and families to live happier lives. If you or someone you love could benefit from consulting with a family therapist specializing in kids, teens, and families, please contact us here at Teen Therapy Center. Our contact info is at the caption below. Now, let's jump into today's parent submitted question here on Tips on Teens. How do I get my 17-year-old son, senior in high school, to stop using nicotine, vapes, and tiparillo cigars? Is it fair for me to ground him from the car and in-person social events until he can pass an at-home nicotine test? He still leaves the home for school and work, and he still has access to socialize on his phone and Xbox. I will give him advance notice of when the test will be. I then want to continue with random at-home testing going forward with loss of car privileges, social events again if necessary. Is this a fair way to force him to quit? Thank you for your question. You guys never fail to submit really thoughtful, hard to answer questions because if they were easy, you probably wouldn't be sending them to me. But this is again, it's another doozy. Uh, anyone here who has had a nicotine addiction knows how hard it is to kick nicotine. It's not easy. It's really tough. And people will make some really irrational choices to get their cigar, their cigarette, their vape, whatever that is. So, I think you have to be asking yourself, if you're going to set boundaries on this, number one, can you enforce the boundaries? And number two, is enforcing these boundaries going to negatively impact your relationship with your son? If it's going to cause such a huge rift, is this really worth it? And you have to decide that for yourself. Every family is going to be different. So if you use, let's say, the nicotine test, nicotine is going to stay in his blood at maximum three to four days. And if you're going to do testing, before you do this, you have to have a very clear plan that you made when you were calm and rational with your co-parent, if you are co-parenting with someone else, that you made a, you were very clear, you were very calm, very rational, what you're going to do if he tests dirty. So when he tests dirty and you get enraged and you panic, at least you have that calm, rational plan that you made and you lean into that and you follow that to the letter. Otherwise, if you don't have a very clear plan, you'll say things you wish you didn't say, you'll do things you wish you didn't do, and it'll just make the whole thing worse. So make sure you have a very clear plan that you thought through. You should have a plan for if he tests dirty, what you're gonna do. You should also have a test if he tests clean. You should focus on strengths and positives as well. So if you're going to take a bunch of stuff away if he tests dirty, if he tests clean, do you guys go out for ice cream? I don't, I don't know what it is, but you have to have a clear plan of what you're going to do to celebrate his sobriety. Also, if it's a urine test, someone must watch the urine come out of the urethra and into the cup. It's too easy to doctor urine samples, to have fake urine, to pour stuff into it. Someone has to watch that. Now, if you're a single mom and he's a seven-year-old boy and that's a very awkward situation, you have to find a way to handle that because otherwise he will find ways to doctor the test. How do you doctor a test? Ask Google. Google will tell you all about it. So you have to have this plan in place. Um, taking the car away, taking away his access to you know social events. If you can enforce these things and it's not going to destroy your relationship, then... Yeah, it, it really depends on what you think will work. Um, but again, if he really doesn't want to stop, it's going to be a really uphill climb, a real uphill battle, because he's going to find ways to do it. Maybe, you know, I don't know how long that will take, but it, it's tough. He has to find a reason for in himself to want to quit. You can give him all the health benefits of quitting. If he doesn't want to do it, he doesn't want to do it. So it's really also important to talk to, talk to him, have a conversation about what is it that helps him? Is it helping with his anxiety? Does it help him feel more cool and he can connect with other friends? You know, does it get to the point where he could talk to a therapist? I don't know. I don't know if it's that far, but having the relationship with him that you can connect and talk to him about this, I think is really important. It's a big topic. I wish I had a silver bullet for this. 
I don't. I don't think anyone does. Uh, make sure you're getting your support that you need so you can get through this process. It's not an easy process. Um, again, my name is Kent Toussaint with Teen Therapy Center and also the nonprofit 501c3 organization, Child and Teen Counseling here in Woodland Hills. Uh, if you'd like me to answer your question here on Tips on Teens, please email us at tipsonteens at teentherapycenter.com or you can direct message us right here through social media. We love your questions. Thank you so much and have a great week and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.